I can't wait to devour some fucking. <laughs> Queens and welcome back to another fantastic week with my bitch slaying the game once again bitch you already know oh. okay so by the title of this video you already know what we're going to be talking about today and today when I'm currently filming this it is day 18 when you guys are seeing this it is day 21 um right now on day 18 and nothing has really happened um if you saw my Instagram live which happened on day 17 not Instagram live sorry Twitter live on day 17 you know that I had almost an incident with fried chicken so if you want to hear that story about my fried chicken incident, go to my Twitter at Devon O. Gomez and then you guys can watch the live for yourself and you guys can see and laugh along with my fried chicken story. So am I continuing this or not? I have to say I'm probably going to continue it to a certain extent. I'm probably going to follow it in the aspect of the no sugar. but less restricted so it's going to be more relaxed so if i want to have a piece of cake in an outing i'm going to have a piece of cake i'm not going to have it every day i'm not going to eat candy like i did before and i'm not going to eat all this processed stuff like i did before but i it's going to be more relaxed it's not going to be as restricted as it is now um if i want a ham sandwich i'm going to have a ham sandwich pasta i'm going to have pasta you know what i mean those types of things i'm going to have those things still um but they're going to be less of it and less often so if I have pasta instead of like of my full plate being full it's going to be a serving or a little over a serving um, I'm not gonna go overboard with the carbs I'm not gonna go overboard with the sugar if I have a piece of cake it's going to be a slim piece of cake a small piece of cake um, candy bars I'm gonna limit myself to like one a month maybe even if that because candy bars literally get me into trouble darling and I don't want that I don't want my lifestyle the way it was before to be continuing now but I don't however want the sugar detox in 100% effect be my lifestyle either like I want to have carbs have sugars if I want to have them and yes I'm going to watch what I eat and yes I'm going to you know think about what I'm eating before I eat it instead of just going up and grabbing it but I am definitely not 100% cutting sugar and carbs out from my life. So what I want to do as well, seeing the 21 days is almost over, is I want to start going to the gym. I want to start working out and, you know, lose weight. I should have started this at the start of the 21 day detox. You know, do the workouts with the um, no eating carbs, no eating sugars and see how well those two clash and see the progress at the end but you know girl I wasn't that smart not only that I was I was taking one thing at a time girl I wasn't gonna try to do both because I don't want to kill myself because I want to see how my body and how I was going to react to the sugar detox before I threw in the exercise and see how you know it affected me after this 21 day detox I'm going to be doing a relaxed 21 detox for my lifestyle you know I'm still gonna be eating healthy and I'm gonna be eating less sugars less carbs and stuff but I am going to indulge sometimes when I want to indulge and I want to start working out you know um, living a lifestyle that I've been wanting for a while you know I've been wanting to go to the gym for a while but you know I always make up the excuse if I go for a couple of days I stop I make up the excuse I'm too busy I don't have time for it. I have school I have two jobs you know there's no time in my schedule to do workouts the whole idea is is it's just me telling myself I don't really want to do it and I need to push myself to do it I, I need to start actually being healthy you know what I mean eating healthy is one thing to get the motive going but in order to live a healthy lifestyle you need to eat healthy you need to work out you know so the only it's not all about eating right is to live a healthier lifestyle you still got to work out you still got to put in the effort to do um to have a better lifestyle and that's what i'm going to do after the 21 detox i'm going to start up a gym membership and start going and the gym about 15 to 20 minutes down the road from me so it's easy to go to and I have already come up with a plan that I'm going to go in the morning before all of my jobs interfere. So I plan, I already planned on doing this. I plan on waking up at 5, 4, tea in the morning, darling. It's going to kill me, bitch, at least at the start. And, you know, get dressed, go to the gym for an hour before I have to come home, take a shower for my jobs. So I figured doing it in the morning is, the le is like the best thing to do before my day starts and you know they say working out before your day starts is always a better way it wakes you up you know your body's going and stuff like that so I um, am definitely going to be doing that after the 21 day detox so I mean that is really it guys so that's my plans after the 21 day sugar detox I can't wait 
to devour some fucking fruit, some strawberries, some watermelon, and like just go to town because girl, I have never missed strawberries in my entire life. One of the key things that I did not say in the video when I was sitting down over in the corner was that, girl, I can do it. You know, I have been saying for a while now, you know, I wanna eat right, I wanna lose weight, blah, 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 but actually going into the mindset of doing it is two different things. Um, and thanks to the help of my manager and Katrina, you know, they really got me on track. They really pushed me to do this. So I finally can say that I can do this damn detox. Not only the detox, but I know I can eat right, I can eat healthy, and you know, it's not going to affect me that much. Um, and then like I said, I will indulge sometimes when I want to indulge, but yeah, so that's why I checked in real quick just to say, so let's continue with the sit down video. So guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you've watched me throughout this whole journey, put in the comments below the two googly eyes. Is that what they're called? Googly eyes? I don't even know. I'll put them on the screen somewhere. Put those in the comments below if you've been watching me throughout this whole journey. And I am super, super excited that I've almost completed it without failing. So guys, until next time, you go out there, you slay that bitch, you do your goals, honey, and you go slay that bitch.